Welcome back, everybody. I'm Aquil, and today I am on five. Beautiful, beautiful five. Now, I will admit, though, that uh, this isn't exactly five, because for whatever reason, in Black Ops 3, when they did Zombies Chronicles, they didn't actually redo five for whatever reason. And so this is kind of like a, a budget shitty version of five that's on the Steam Workshop. Not to, uh, you know, shut a mod author or anything like that, because it is pretty nice. It, uh, you know, like, up top it looks good, in the war room it looks good, but as you get to the labs, it doesn't look as good. Uh, there's no Pentagon Thief either. Like, it is missing a little bit, but for what we are doing, it will suffice. And thankfully, thankfully, this mod does actually work with the Reaper Collection mod. And the Reaper Collection mod is the one that adds in a whole slew of new perks. So in total, there are 51 perks that we can double buy. When we double buy it, it gives whole new unique effects and whatnot. So it's basically another perk. And so in total, there's essentially 102 perks. And our goal is to get all of them. Now, I can't actually show you any of the perk machines right now. Because there aren't any up here. It is uh, a little bit scuffed. Just a little bit. Just a little bit scuffed by the MPL. Okay. It will suffice. You're right. You're right. There actually aren't many new perk out, machines on this map at all, honestly. And so I think five might take quite a while to get through, in truth. So I'm actually, I'm gonna share a little secret with you. A little something special special that you shouldn't know, okay? This right here, this is illegal, okay? This is for your eyes only. Okay, watch this. You see that shit right there? You see that? These little fucking gooners can't get into the elevator. They just get stuck there, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. I know this doesn't make for the greatest gameplay in the world, okay? I fully anticipate this video not to do that well. But the majority of it is gonna be me gooning the elevators, okay? I'm gonna be honest. Cause, uh, let's be real, let's be honest, okay? Five is, it's a hard map, okay? It's a pretty difficult map. And so, uh, you know, I, I gotta find a way to survive, okay? And this is it. This is my little goon spot. So my plan is, I'm gonna goon a little bit up here, and then, you know, try and get as many points as I can, and then go downstairs and figure it out. Now, five is, is, it's an interesting map, because... In zombies, usually a lot of maps have are like based on a certain aesthetic, you know, especially the older ones, you know. So like Noct didn't like quite have one, but we'll just call it a Nazi aesthetic, right? Verrucht was a Nazi aesthetic. Uh, Shinonuma was a Japanese one. Theories, Kinos were Nazi aesthetics. Five is an American aesthetic. Uh, Ascension is like a Soviet one. Call of the Dead is, it, I guess that's technically a Soviet one. That's like a oh, weird one. That doesn't really have one. It's like an ice one. Shangri-La is like a Buddhist, sort of Tibetan one. And then Moon is uh, another Nazi one, right? Uh, before I continue on with that whole rant, this is a new power-up. And what this does is it upgrades a perk for you. It double buys it. Now, this won't do anything because we don't have a perk to double buy. However, you know, if we did, it would work. And there is another uh, power-up just like that that like was not rainbow. That'll give you a new perk. Anyway, that rant aside... The sort of American aesthetic of 5. Well, I was going to say it doesn't get explored that much. That's not true. The problem is that every That's time it gets like explored, it it's on a map that always gets shit on. Okay? No 5 wow. is the American aesthetic, right? And it's good. It's a very good map, right? I really love this map. Aesthetically, it's very good. It plays very well. But it is a difficult map, and it always gets overshadowed by Kino every time without fail right kino is just objectively the superior map not that five's bad but kino is just it's just a better map okay it's it's a lot more mainstream it's where like the the, the filthy casuals go to so the next time they do that vibe is transit you know they have all that stuff like the whole americana stuff like the whole diner thing right it's very americana uh the whole like greyhound bus thing that is as well uh but yet you know Transit was notoriously a really shitty map, you know? The only thing good about Transit was Town. Then, what, Nuketown? That was Americana. That was pretty good. That was, uh... 
you know, like that retro vibe of like the retro sort of housing. And whatnot. It was very good. You know, like the the green lawns and you know, keeping up with the uh, the Johnsons or whatever, like that whole vibe. You know, and it does that very well. It's very nice, but it's it's quite torn down. And Nuketown just was not that great of a map. Uh, well, I think it was. It was a good challenge map, but it was very bare bones. There wasn't much to it, and it was difficult, depending on luck. And then Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega gets shit on a lot. I don't think it deserves as much as it gets shit on in shoes. I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. But it does get shit on, right? The only, like, American one that was good was Mob of the Dead. And even then... I, I, I wouldn't even call that, like, American. Like, it was, obviously. It's on fucking Alcatraz, of course, and it has mobsters. That's more of, like, a, a demon purgatory thing than it is, like, an actual actual like Americana deal so it just it doesn't it's not quite right you know it's just not quite right and so it's just it's really disappointing that every single time I saw the American stuff it's just never any good which is a shame too because uh you know I, I am a man who can appreciate aesthetics right like I love do not take this wrong way but I love the uh the aesthetic of Nazis okay that like the whole aesthetic is good same thing with the Soviets. I love that aesthetic, right? It's just, it's, I, I just love the way it looks. It's very cool. And I love the American stuff too. And I think the American stuff is definitely my favorite. I guess like the wartime USA of like 40s, 50s sort of Americana. Just like the, the like rugged individualist sort of industrial stuff. It's like, you know, you have like a Ford, like all the car stuff and automobiles popping off at the time. You have like the Cola Wars. You have all like the various sort of like patriotic like you know victory cabbage kind of shit you have the way everyone dresses is really nice you have uh, art deco you know was a big thing at the time that's like one of my top tier favorite art movements it was just a, a very pretty time period oh free perk we just got vigor rush that's a very good perk i'm gonna go downstairs now it's about time i fucking left this place but Vigor Rush does explosive damage in your weapon, so it's very, very good. But of course, you know, onto the main thing that we're doing here is the uh, the new perks. So here's one of them. Uh, I'll get to what exactly they do, like, as I actually pick them up. But they are, you know, dotted around. You know, they're around here. They're gooning a little bit, as you do. Turn on power. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Turn that on. Fuck it. Let's see, Swarm Scotch. It's like a meme. I don't want that. It's stinky. It's poopy. I'm actually going to do something a little bit questionable, a little bit sus, a little bit sussy, a little bit stinky, a little stinky poopy. I'm actually going to link the teleporters right away. And I'm actually going to pack a punch my 1911 and get the fucking Mustang and Sally's already. Which is like moderately filthy, but fuck it bro, we ball. Oh, round seven Sally's. That is hot. That is so sexy, dude. I might, you know what? I might even come. Dude, what is that picture? It's just like wall textured that's framed. Why? Why is that a thing? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit up here in this elevator because this bottom floor works as well. And then we're gonna sit up here and we're gonna goon a little bit. Now, I, I'm a little bit worried I'm gonna get myself fucking killed with the Sally's, but you know what? It'll be worth it. You know, I'm gonna pick up Vulture Aid real quick. I was gonna get something nice off the wall probably, but I'm gonna pick up Vulture Aid and hit the box and hope to god that it's something good. Box time? Ayo, ayo, ayo. So honestly, I really only wanted Vulture Aid just so I can see what other perks are littered around. So that way, ideally, I won't have to leave my little goon elevator unless uh, I see something good out there that I want. Oh man, all that, uh, so the eclipse just happened recently. Like, that just happened a couple days ago. And, uh, I'll be honest, the eclipse was really kind of disappointing, man. And I'm, like, right in, like, the Goldilocks zone of it, too. I'm, like, right in the splash zone of the, uh, of the eclipse as well, you know? So I got to see, like, the full thing front and center. 
and it was kind of disappointing truly it was which is a little bit sad but i think that's because like my only reference of what to expect was from the fucking radio because at work i work with like a bunch of old guys right and they just fucking love their little fucking radios for whatever reason right and the kind of shit the radio was saying was fucking insane dude you would have thought like the eclipse was like the second coming or something like it was just absolutely fucking insane the way they're describing it like it was it was kind of filthy the people on the radio they're all like oh it's gonna be a once in a lifetime experience oh it's gonna be absolutely insane people are coming in from all over the world to see it they're coming in from Timbuktu in Bangkok in Bombay they're coming in from uh, Singapore and Mombasa and uh, Saigon and Stalingrad and like they're just like naming off a whole bunch of places you know half of them don't even exist anymore they're gonna be packed shoulder to shoulder like sardines they're gonna be gooning in the public parks and in the streets and in the zoos and in the library and in city hall they're like don't even think about driving anywhere it's gonna be bumper to bumper if you go anywhere you're gonna have to bring food and water you're gonna need flashlights and you're gonna need some condoms we got a report here a it's a collaboration of the cdc uh the fbi the atf uh nasa uh and mossad and uh purdue university and they say that if you want to watch the eclipse, you need to wear uh, welding goggles, you need uh, a batting helmet, chainmail armor, and uh, and some thigh socks. Because if you don't, you'll get the curse of Raw. It was fucking crazy, dude. It was absolutely insane, so I was expecting some crazy shit. And then, like, he would go from, like, the sky, like, talking like it's the fucking doomsday kind of shit, you know? Like, like it's like a zombie outbreak or some shit. And it goes from that to like it cuts and it's like dee 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 dee. And it's like some like perky young lady on like the news, right? Like it does like that jump cut. And you know, she's with like an actual news agency. And she's like, Oh yeah, it's the eclipse and it's like once in a lifetime thing. It's gonna get dark for a whole four minutes and you can see the stars and everything. It's like damn, if they think that's crazy, they should fucking wait till nighttime, because they're gonna be blown away. <laughs> it does that shit. Every night for like 12 hours at a time, they're gonna completely shit bricks when that happens. And then the eclipse happened, and it was, honest to god, really fucking disappointing, dude. It really just was kinda fucking boring, in truth. Like, it was not that good. Like, I literally, I, I got to go home early from work, which is really nice. I'm very happy for that. And my HR lady even came around and gave me a pair of little fucking goon glasses, you know? As you do, you know, I I went home and then I fucking jerked off for like an hour. And I noticed it getting a little bit darker outside and whatnot. And it was about that time. But, you know, I go outside and my uh, neighbor is up there, you know. The guy with the apartment next to mine. He's a cool guy, I like him. And, you know, he was out there. And so I grabbed a chair and sat next to him and we shot the shit and watched it. And it was like super fucking lame. Because obviously, like, you couldn't look straight at it or your fucking eyes would explode. Uh, and you know, no, I had my little goon glasses on. And when you put on the little goon glasses, it was like super disappointing. It was basically like completely pitch black. Except like a little sort of like crescent moon kind of shape, you know. That little crescent shape of that little sliver of just like pure like orangish reddish. And that got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And then it got dark. But it didn't even like get like, pitch black either. It was like dusk you know where it's like a little bit darker the sky is like a sort of like a, a muted blue it's like a grayish color it got a little bit chilly and then basically all you saw was like the bluish gray of the sky and then you saw like a little gray circle in the sky which was like the moon and then like uh like these rays of light coming out of the end of it which was the sun you know and you could take off your like little fucking goober glasses to view it at that point and then you know, it got a little bit chilly, and then you waited for a few minutes, and then, you know, you couldn't look at it anymore because your fucking eyes were going to explode. And then, you know, once again, it was the same shit with, like, you know, the crescent, but instead of getting smaller, it got bigger now. <laughs> and, uh, 
At that point, I was like, all right, well, this shit's kind of lame. I'm uh, going back inside. Fuck this, dude. I video stated it. So yeah, it was it was honestly kind of disappointing. But uh, you know, I'm gl I'm glad I got to see it at least. I'm glad I got a little time off. So I actually see over there, thanks to a uh, vulture aids. I can see a very very sexy perk over there by a uh, pack punch. I do want to get my slimy little little booger hooks on that perk. Oh well, let's see. So this is a perk called Miracle Hands Mocha, and what it does is it will let you change power ups that drop three times and the double buy makes it four times if you get a max ammo and you change it it'll always be a perk bottle and it will never change to a carpenter and nuke so you know once we're uh you know in the little goon dungeon over there and we start getting drops like if it's like a nuke or something like obviously we don't want that shit but you know we can start changing that to perk bottles and then we can really goon so i just got swarm scotch there which is not that good but what it does is when you reload with zero ammo or get headshots, there's a chance that there'll be like a little swarm of little dingles around them that'll do damage. Uh, and that's basically it. And I just picked up Tacticila, which is actually really good. Which is when you fire your bullets, there's a chance that it actually won't use up any bullets. And multi-kills will give you more points. Oh, I'm gonna pick up Mule Dick while I'm at it. Might as well get an extra gun out of it. See, the double buy is pretty, pretty boring. Check the expiration well, I'm gonna grab Jug as well. Now, the double buy on Mule Kick is if you buy it again, you'll get the weapon back that you lost. And then the double buy on Jug is twice around, you will survive uh, damage that would otherwise kill you. A little free perk we got. Ooh, that's actually really good. That's called uh, Cashback Cocktail. And what that one does is whenever you buy something, you get 20% of the points back. And the double buy for that one is it instead becomes 30. Now I actually want to go down here and buy blood bullets. What that does is what? Ammo and active gun slowly regens ammo. Oh, do we have enough time to uh, to edge out a box it? We might actually, you know. Oh, it's a dog round. Yeah, we can edge as, as hard as we want. WH is that? Okay. Alright, in, in this gun's defense, I completely fucking kicked ass with this fucking gun back in, uh, back in the day, dude. This game is fucking cheesing on me right now, dude. Are you, are you, are you, are you for eel right now? Are you for eel? You're gonna make me settle with the Bowie knife for eel? And the, the Bowie knife and the RP, dude, okay, this, it's Drover. So I see you, what that perk does is increased health regen and you're invincible while performing actions. Ooh, and then... Dying Wish is when you're about to die, instead you are briefly invincible. Oh, I didn't want to grab that. That's fine. Fuck it. We ball. Oh, where did the box even spawn at, actually? That is a good question. Where else can the box even fucking spawn at? Oh, right there? That's that's a no-no right there. That's, that's, that's stinky. Okay. I, I'm desperately gonna have to fucking grab PhD though. This is gonna be a pivotal perk right now. With our uh, fucking scuffed ass goober weapons right now. Excuse me. Yeah, it's our little our little gooner loadout. Okay, this uh this strat is legit gonna take us for fucking ever, but we I don't think we can ever fail. Oh dude, Swarm Scotch might actually take care of these little gooners for me. I'd be kind of annoyed if it did. No, I think we, we lucked out and it didn't. So I actually want to get Magnet Margarita, which is like a little bit of a, a shit post. But uh, what it does is it brings power-ups to you. Oh, hello. Your insides, devil? Okay, fine. Fuck it. I'll grab it for points, if nothing else. Stamina up. I don't need it, but I'm just going to start, like, just grabbing perks because I, I need it. I need it. I fucking need it. What is one? I'll grab that. Fuck it. We ball. That's a good one. This the double buy for widows. Excuse me. It'll drop the uh, the little web upgrade for unweb zombies, and the double buy for stand up lets you shoot as you run, and you can run infinitely. Uh, Crusader's ale is actually really really good, because it increases melee damage. Although it, it seems like the increase is like negligible, but the real good thing about it is it actually will double the amount of points you get for melee kills. 
Oh, we get Ethereal Razor as our extra perk. I didn't even notice that. That's actually kind of busted. Because uh, Ethereal Razor is also melee damage, and it adds a, uh, a melee area of effect. And I think we bought the Bowie Knife, too. I don't really remember doing that, but it seems like we did. So, uh, we're actually clear to do, like, a fucking a little gooner strat of just meleeing. Uh, Victoria's Tortoise is good, but only on maps where you have the shield. Because what it does is it makes the shield, like, omnidirectional. So no matter where you get hit, it, uh, will do the shield instead. Downer's Delight, you keep your weapons when you're out, when or when you're down. It doubles bleed out time, and then double by triples it. Ooh, Muscle Milk, that's kind of like a meme one. So when you stab... Uh, on a cooldown, it's kind of like the, um, the Wonder Woth, the DG2, where it'll do like a chain electric thing, just like that. Ooh, Stone Cold Stronghold, that's pretty good for us, actually. Because Stone Cold Stronghold, what that one does is, if you stay still for a while, it'll generate a ring, which will give you am- or not ammo, uh, what do you call that? Armor, over time, so it won't die so much. Which is especially good if we're in our little goon cave right here. Boom. Now we have that circle. So long as we stay in it, we will uh, take less damage, basically. Now, with Crusader's Ale and Ethereal Razor, uh, our melee attacks are also kind of area of effect in a way. So if we just did this, we're actually going to get a lot of kills. Just by stabbing. Oh, that perk is called Momentum Mojito. Which uh, makes you fast when you run, and it also does, um, it, uh, when you run into zombies, it fucks them up. Oh, Bandolier Bandit, can I grab that? Yes, I can. Extra ammo for all weapons, and stowed weapons will slowly refill clips if available. And then this one right here is absolutely goaded. What it does is it will slow down people within a radius of you. Yeah, so that guy was a sprinter, and then he slowed his ass down. He kind of does like a sprint again, and he slows down. Yeah, that's hot. It's really hot. Well, I didn't even notice, but we did get Ecstatic Elixir. And what that does is when you run around, it stuns zombies. And we got PhD Slider, which is basically... It's like PhD, but when you slide into zombies, it'll just do a little extra fucking damage to them, basically. Oh uh, yeah, so we got a free perk. Now, our free perk is a little bit busted. Oh yeah, I killed both of our gooners right there. It's annoying. But the free perk is a tiny bit busted. Uh, because the icon is fucked up. It still functions perfectly fine. But the perk we got is Bull Ice Blast. Which is uh, kind of like a meme perk. It's it's not very good, honestly. It's really not. Uh, it's basically you can double jump. Which is like a whole little bit of a, a meme gimmick. Oh, we just got Incinder Brandy. That's nice. Uh, that just adds fire damage to your weapons. Nothing really that special. What are you, Banana Colada? Yes, sir. Banana Colada is a fun little meme. Which is, uh, if I do this, these little gooners will slip and slide now. And, and fucking dematerialize? There's too many of them. Oh yeah, they got all a little goobed up right there. Little goobers. Ooh, Blaze Phase, we just got that. Which is, if I crouch here for a second, we'll get that fire round. And if I stand up, it'll propel us forward. Now, theoretically, theoretically, you're supposed to, like, kill the zombies and do damage to them. But in reality, like, every time I do it, it does not kill the zombies. Instead, it just, like, propels me into groups and I get myself killed. Like, an absolute goober. And then our free perk right there is Daminade. Which is, it'll give us, uh, every round flip. It'll give us an extra grenade and an extra tactical as well. So it's like a way of getting your, um, like, monkeys and stuff back. Oh, the PP, okay. That will do. Oh, the HK is really hot, though. But I gotta keep the PP. I'm gonna keep the PP, I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's see, what perk do we get this time? We got... Oh, that's... Well... Well, that is good. So that's Nuka-Cola. It's a little bit of Fallout right there. Which is, uh, basically, when you go down, you'll spawn a nuke. Which, uh, you know, it is alright, but the real thing we want is the double buy for that, so we're gonna have to keep our eyes out for it. But what the double buy does is whenever you pick up a power-up, it has a chance of spawning in a new one. 
which you know considering how well we're kind of reliant on power-ups right now because of just like the uh very tiny amount of perk machines it uh you know obviously it's gonna be quite helpful i did get a new perk there called repairman rum which i used a lot in the knocked video so go watch the uh knocked aaron toten down there because that was fun but uh, what that does is you repair border or borders i say borders every time i don't even know why you repair barriers instantly uh you get double the points for doing it and when zombies tear down the barriers they'll uh like it'll blow them up it'll spawn a grenade and fucking blow them it'll blow them real hard and we got winter's whale that's fun it's kind of like widow's wine but instead it's icy which is pretty good but it's it's nothing like terribly unique and then death perception which is adding that red outline so we can see zombies now through walls which uh really isn't that spectacular but the double buy is fucking crazy because it does extra damage to non-zombie enemy heads which means that like marg was and panzer sold at, so you will completely fuck them up Ooh, blood wolf bite that one's splendid i love blood wolf bite because what that does is that'll spawn in our gal luna oh yep yeah, which is happening right now there she is oh she's gonna be stuck inside the elevator though okay if our girl was not stuck inside the elevator she would be out there gooning on these zombies she does like a lot of damage and she does very very good work but she's a little bit scuffed right now you can pet her too but like the animation doesn't don't quite line up we also got a perk called pack a box punch or pack box punch pack a pack a punch pack some whatever something like that and what that does is when you get something from the box it, you have a chance of getting it pack a punch which is uh, very helpful it, uh, well, it, it's not actually that helpful. It's a lot more gimmicky than helpful. Oh, we just got Fighter's Fizz. That one's pretty good. What that does is when you go down, you keep your weapons. And when you get a kill when you're down, you get back up with all your perks and everything. Uh, the problem with it, though, is that if you have that plus the Nuka-Cola perk, which spawns a nuke when you go down, then there really aren't zombies around to kill. And then it becomes a bit of an issue. Oh, we got no bear brew. That one's actually really good. So what that does is you will not get bears in the box. Or if there's a wonder fizz, you won't get those like little shit bottles. But most importantly, if we are to go down here, we will actually be able to change the box to this location. And uh, that's what the double buy is. And that's actually fucking goaded. That's super hot. And then the last one we got is Elemental Pop, which just spawns random AATs. Uh, and now, we actually have every single perk. But now we just have to double buy them. I need to know, do you or do you not kill the pig? You gotta comment that down below, I wanna know. What are your comments? Do you kill the pig or do you not kill the pig? This is important. Very important. Why did I get a nuke? Why am I getting so much crazy shit right now? Do you or do you not kill the pig? And I'll tell you what. I kill the pig. I kill the pig every time. The reason I kill the pig is like... Because, you know, there are worse fates than death. You know what I mean? If you don't kill the pig, you know, zombies are going to tear him apart. You know, he's, he's like fly eaten. He's helpless. You know it's yeah you gotta do what you gotta do okay in a world that is kind of fucked up and cruel and terrible and unjust unfortunately even good people kind of gotta fucking do some scuffed shit right and you know ultimately in uh in doing something that's bad that is killing but in doing something bad you are it's like a lesser of two evils right and doing something a little bad, you're preventing something a lot of bad, right? And I say that if you don't kill the pig, then you're uh, you're a spineless little bitch. So I need your opinions. I, I want to know. Why do you or do you not kill the pig? Oh, only one more after that one. Okay, one more. We're probably going to get that this round. Well, maybe right now even. Oh, right now even. Okay, we did it. Okay, uh, fuck it, we ball. We got all the perks, we got them all done, we did it boys. 
Did it guys and gals, ladies and gents. So I'm gonna finish up this round, and once it's done, I'm gonna end the game and we'll see. But uh, until that happens, I just want to say, you know, if you have been sticking around this far, thank you, thank you very much. I hope you've been liking the video. Uh, and if you have, you know, like the video, comment, subscribe, you know, do all that fun stuff, please. Because it, uh, I, I'm anxious to see this channel grow, and I'm hoping to do some uh, very fun things. Not just zombies, but some more, uh, some more fun stuff in the future. I'm gonna be gooning a lot. A lot of good stuff. Go watch some of the, uh, the other videos I've posted before as well. Especially some, like, the multiplayer videos. Those ones are my favorites, where I play around with the boys. Those are, are hilarious videos. Would highly recommend those ones. Oh, this map will be down in the description as well. I will make sure to, uh, show it off. You know, once again, it's not like a perfect port, but it does function well enough. You know? So, this map will be down there. So will the Reaper Collection mod. So, go check that out as well. Go check all that out. Bruh. This fucking guy. This little gooner. Oh, this little gooner, too. What the fuck is he doing? He's got the jitters. My man. Okay, that is all. I'm gonna let the end screen take us out. But thank you once again for watching.